Hello and welcome to the discussion session in Physics of JEE Advanced 2017 Paper 1. This paper has been conducted today on the 21st May 2017 and it's very evident that we are discussing Paper 1 Code 5. The Paper 1 Code 5, the first section has seven questions and the questions may have one or more than one options correct and the marking of these questions is also quite interesting if all the correct options are marked then you would be awarded four marks there is also a provision of partial marking the partial marking would be one mark per option provided no wrong option is ticked however if someone ticks any of the wrong option then one would land with minus two marks. So this was the basic briefing and basic description of the marking scheme. Now let's begin with the discussion of question number one. This question has been taken up from the concept of conservation of linear momentum and you can also use the concept of center of mass in order to solve this question. There is a block of mass capital M and there is another small particle of mass small m. This is kept on a table which is rigidly fixed. All the surfaces are smooth given mu equals to zero and of course the initial coordinate the right edge of the block is x equals to zero. The coordinate frame x y is defined in this manner and this coordinate frame is rigidly fixed to the table. Now this small block is released from rest. This is the circular segment of radius r and the question goes as follows. When the mass loses contact with the block, in other words when it finally comes out from here, its position is x and velocity is v. Now we need to calculate or we need to solve for these following options, velocity of small m, velocity of capital M, then the position. So let's begin. Starting with the solution part, what we'll do is, by the time the block reaches here, there's a small block and let it have velocity small v and this have velocity capital V. Let's try to see, using conservation of linear momentum, but a very notable feature here is linear momentum is not conserved along y because the net force isn't zero. However, fortunately, both the velocities are along x direction. And if you see the free body diagram, mg and capital MG are along y-axis. The normal reaction between the small particle and the block would cancel out, eventually helping us to conclude that there is no external force along x direction. So well, I can easily conserve linear momentum and this would be taken as the positive direction, this would be taken as negative. So applying conservation of linear momentum, I get this equals to this, that is equation number one. However, one equation will not suffice because we are having two variables. So we have to rope in another tool and that is the conservation of energy tool. Right here, mechanical energy is conserved, so I can very straightforward write mg capital R, the fall in gravitational potential energy would provide the kinetic energy for the particle and the block. And this now becomes the two simultaneous equation we need to solve. And when I solve this thing, the velocity of small m, this would come out to be root 2gr divided by 1 plus m by m. So that would directly lead to option number A. Now let's verify for option number B, we need to calculate the velocity of capital M. By using this equation straightforward, we get capital V would be m by small m into root 2gr by 1 plus m by m. The negative sign clearly indicates the velocity is in the left direction, but be careful, everything is same, but this denominator is missing in the given option, so option number B would be taken incorrect. 
Now let's try to discuss the position part and the x displacement of center of mass of capital M. Have a look. C option is demanding position of small m and D option is demanding the x displacement of center of mass of capital M. So here we need to make a small figure. In this situation what I'll do is this is the initial situation and after some time let's see the figure would come something like this all right so now let's see initially the block was here and finally when it reaches to this position the larger block would have shifted behind so this is that particular situation now what I'll do is let's try to if I call this distance to be capital X quite obviously this distance would be R minus capital X now another notable feature initially center of mass is at rest and there is no net force along x direction when we take the system as the particle and the block. So it is more than sufficient to conclude that the x distance moved by the center of mass of the combined particle and the block would be zero. So straightforward I can directly write zero would be equals to let's see the x distance moved by the particle would be m r minus x and of course with a negative sign here so let's make it rather clear zero is a minus sign here plus the distance moved by the block that is m capital x let's try to see here this would give us m r minus x would be equals to m of x and i get x equals to m r divided by m plus m so what is x x would indeed be the displacement of the block and right here x displacement of the center of mass is exactly matching with that we of course need a negative sign because everything is coordinated so option number d would be correct well option number c would straightway be incorrect because now you could easily see the position of small m is the position of the small m is this and this was the origin so that would also be minus x so that's straightway very easy to conclude the option number C would be incorrect. Henceforth, for this given question, option number A and option number D would be the correct option. Now, let's proceed to question number two.